Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you're all doing well and staying safe. Today we are going to be doing a kit reveal. Basically there's been some leaked kits here and there. Pretty much over the past day or so of leaked Castor Wolves kits for the new season. And basically I'm just going to give my reaction to them and give you my opinion on them. And to be fair it looks, it looks likely that these could be them. Um, maybe they'll change a few things here and there with the kit. But I remember we've had the kit leaks before. And you know, 99% of the time they look very similar to them. So yeah, they might change a few things here and there, but mainly this is probably what the the kit's gonna look like. There's, there's a home kit and a away kit, and then some sort of third or training kit. It looks more like a training kit to me. But, but first off, I was actually gonna talk about Castor because I haven't really mentioned it, and we've known about Castor for quite a while actually. Uh, there's something leaked probably a few months ago that there was gonna change to Castor, and they have. Um, and in my opinion, I think it's it's a good move because Adidas, like as much as I like Adidas stuff, it's just we're just getting template kits every single time, and every single kit looked the same, every single training kit looked the same. Like the only way you was gonna have some unique kits with Adidas or Nike or Puma was if you was a big club, like if you was a Man City, if you was an Arsenal, if you was a Liverpool, you would have got some nice kits. But for us, like Wolves and. All these other teams had Adidas. It was just, it was never going to work. It was always going to have the template kit, and it was, it was always going to look boring. So, I'm glad to see the back of Adidas. To be fair, and Castor, you know what? I'm, I'm excited for it. It's, it looks good, and they've said they're going to have unique kits um, just to Wolves, which, which is going to be really nice to see with Rangers as well. And I watched a lot of Rangers last season, and all the kits looked really nice. Uh, I think that three kits, in fair, they're away kit. I think that white one was, was really nice. So. Yeah, they've had some really nice kits and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into it, the reaction, uh, give my opinions on them, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So of course, going to start off with the home kit. All these pictures are footy headliners, uh, but also one of them do has, does have a, like a water a watermark on it from Wolverhampton Wanderers News, I, th I believe. Uh, yeah, the new home kit. Uh, Again, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, I remember they did do an interview with um, with Vinny Clark, I think his name is, and he was talking about the kits, and they said they are going to have one which is player issue, and also one which is just for the a replica general public. And this one looks like it could be a player issue one because you can see little, little holes in there for um, a breathable breathable kit so this one looks like it's gonna be a player issue and I have seen two designs of this one I've seen the ones where it's this one obviously and I've also seen one where it doesn't have these weird black things on the side of the shirt and then it doesn't obviously have the breathable holes in it doesn't have them in either so it looks like this one's gonna be the player issue and then the other one would be just for the public to get I actually do prefer the replica one the one that's for the public to be fair this one I don't know it's just it's these weird like it's just weird black things on the side and then the weird, the breathable thing, I don't know. And also just the colour as well, like they said as well that they're really going to try and nail down on the, the old gold. But I don't know, like I think it's maybe because the era I was like, grew up in. But like, the shirts I remember, like I remember the very start of like the Cox Sportif, Chaucer and our, our, um, and I can remember like the Bird uh, and Sporting Bet. I've got a Sporting Bet one on my wall right now, signed by all the players. And I'm looking at that now, and it's just, I don't know, maybe it's because the year I was born in, and like the Puma, when he's going to Puma as well, and the Birder, and I don't know, like, it's just, this one, this one here, it just looks a bit too, like, yellow. And I think, me growing up, I've always seen a bit more of an orange tint to it, which is probably why I prefer the orange tint to it. And I know this is probably more old gold than the orangish one is. But I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of the colour, really. Like, like the first... Uh, the first ever Adidas one, when it first came up to the Premier League, that one, like, I just didn't like that one, really. And it's very similar to this one as well. It's just very, it's just very plain, like, um, like especially with this season, uh, the season that just went, and the season before that as well. There's a bit more of a, a texture to it. There's a bit more design in the shirt, where this is just one block colour, uh, which, I don't know, it just doesn't... It doesn't really look good. Again, it's that maybe it's a picture and the picture's not great, but maybe in in person there might be some sort of design in there which will look nice. But I don't know. It's it's not bad. The collar's actually quite nice. I don't mind the collar. Uh, the collar's right, and obviously we've got a new sleeve um, cryptocurrency betting 
person, whoever it is. And the man Bex again, not the biggest fan of really. If we got rid of that weird symbol in, in the middle, if we got rid of that and just had the man Bex, and then like the writing above that as well, if we just had that, it would actually look really nice. It would look really clean. But it's it's not bad. It's 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 okay. Like it's okay. It's not bad. But again, it's probably going to look a lot better on the players. But my favourite one is actually the, the away kit, which we'll get onto right now. The away kit for the new season is leaked and apparently will look something like this again off footy headliners as well and yeah i'm i'm a big fan of it i'm a very big fan of it uh, i actually didn't even realize this until i watched uh, on talking wolves dave done a video on this as well and it actually he said he actually just looks it looks just like the the away kit the wolves away kit from 1988 to 1990 which i've got up by, uh, side by side and and it actually is so similar like the collar or the the gold the golden black collar on it the slit the end of the sleeves and like this this like lined texture in it as well is actually very similar and you know what I actually I'm actually a massive fan of this I really like this a lot and again I think to be fair I think that weird silver thing on the man X actually works all right to be fair you can see the one pack the castor and the wolves logo in the back of the collar as well which is which is nice as well i like that um and you can see these like weird gold triangle things on the corners on the shoulders which i actually quite like as well um but you know i'm actually a big fan of this one i, I really like this one a lot and as you can see this one there's a bit of a texture in it there's, there's like faint lines in it which i actually really like like the, the home one it's just it's just a bit blocky and just isn't much to it but this one i actually i'm actually a big fan of i really like this one and if these two are the proper kits, I would definitely be getting this away kit. I really like this, and I, I just love—I just love white away kits as well. It's so clean. Like last season's away kit was was really nice. Uh, I've had a few away kits in the past which have just been white, have been really nice. Yeah, now we're moving on to kind of they've said it's like a third kit. That's what they put on footy headlines. They've said it's it's an away kit, but for me, it looks more like a training kit. But I'll show you now. So yeah, this this is the kit. It's got some Wolverhampton Wanderers news watermark on it, but yeah, they've said it's it's a third kit, but I don't know. It looks more like a training kit to me, which has these like paint splatters on it. This this grey colour then on the shoulders and down the side of the kit is it's more black as well. Uh, a bit a bit of gold around the collar as well. Which to be fair, I, I do like this. Again, a bit, it's a bit blown out the picture as you can see around the Wolves here is a bit blown out and. Yeah, maybe it's not the best image of it, but maybe in person it might look nice. But I actually don't mind it. They'll paint splatters, and you can see there's a bit more of a light, light and light and dark grey effect in it as well. Um, but I actually, I actually really like this as well. Um, not sure if I'd like it as 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 a third kit, but I think as a training kit, I'd really like this. It looks it looks very nice. And again, the one pack, the Castor and the Wolves logo in the back as well, which is a nice touch as well. But overall. Um, the away kit is definitely my favourite, and again, this third training kit I do really like as well. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all the kits in the comments down below. Which one's your favourite? If you'll be getting one of them, I think they've said that the kits will be around 50 55. Um, so yeah, let me know as always your thoughts on them, what your favourite kit is, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Very quick video, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. My Twitter and Instagram down below. Make sure you go follow them as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on for more videos coming out in the future. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.